Good morning traders and welcome to the daily call today Friday the 28th of June. Before we get started as always please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay let's have a look at what's happened in the markets yesterday. We had data come out from New Zealand. We saw the ANZ business confidence number coming at minus 38.1%. Uh, Kiwi dollar yesterday continued to rise against uh, the US dollar. That's predominantly uh, US dollar uh, uncertainty coming into the G20 meetings which are taking place uh, today and tomorrow. The other data came in from the US. It was the GDP number. It came in on forecast at 3.1%. And again, the US dollar at the moment seems to be consolidating uh, or losing a little bit of ground, uh, so to speak, as uh, investors are wary of what might happen at these uh, G20 meeting talks that are happening today and tomorrow, particularly uh, China-US situation. Will there be more tariffs, less tariffs? What's going to happen with that situation? So it's, everybody's trading carefully with the US-related uh, currencies and we may see a little bit of profit taking uh, throughout uh, the session which is about to kick off today. Okay, that's pretty much all that's happened and uh, an insight into what will take place. Let us now uh, have a look at our chart of the day. Incidentally, yesterday's chart of the day, Oz, uh, the pound Aussie did not trigger. We broke in the downward direction. Not to worry. Um, I have found us a, a setup which is ready to go this morning. It is the Kiwi US dollar and uh, we have eight consecutive candles in one direction. This is a, our statistical trade. Now remember when you apply a statistical trade, I get a lot of emails um, on people that have found you know seven or eight candles in a row or on a 15 minute chart or a one hour chart. It doesn't work like that. It's strictly only a daily time scale and on top of that it needs to be one of the major currencies traded so often I will see it on an exotic but I am very rarely tempted to take it on an exotic maybe if I see 12 or 13 or something like that I may do it from time to time and when I do I do show it to you but uh, the Kiwi dollar is a major we've got eight consecutive candles in one direction if we see here we've got one two three four five six seven eight this is this morning's candle it is only about 50 minutes old so let's see what happens there now the, the way that you would trade the statistical trade you're not looking for a uh, oops let me just go back there you're not looking for a huge pullback uh, what we're looking for is just a, a short-term reversal okay so we're probably looking for maybe it's up to yourself how you do it normally what I would do is is I do a 30 30 uh, so like I'm looking for a 30 pip t a target and a 30 pip stop and then if I feel confident I may go for a second target of maybe 60 or something like that but that's purely individual but let's just take it as 30 and 30 let's see how we go on that one Kiwi dollar is our chart of the day this morning all right, what's happening in the session, which is about to kick off? We have um, the G20 meetings, which I've mentioned. They go on throughout the, the all day today. They start. We have at eight uh, at six thirty this evening from the UK the current account uh, figures, ten thirty from Canada the GDP numbers, and uh, after midnight at uh, twelve thirty from Canada again the business outlook survey. And also don't forget that those G20 meetings will carry on into tomorrow. Uh, so they they finish I think on Sunday there you have it that's pretty much all that's happening guys as always please feel free to contact us if you do have any questions follow me on Twitter at chat effects for trade setups and breaking news most importantly hope you all have a fantastic trading day have a great weekend and I will speak to you on Monday for the daily call bye for now